Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 production is dead. You're right. Chibi said it here. The production studio is dead. Sorry. They're not dead. The animators just gave up. The title is fucking crazy, but I think it has to do with, you know, how rough Mappa is working their work. Let's see what he has to say. For the last few hours, animators yeah. back to back, one yeah. after another, as you can see here, is different studios? Did K did work for Jujutsu Kaisen, like previous people that worked for this, right? He's now talking about how can I put my balls in your jaws? What the fuck am I reading here? This but is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2's production what? has flatlined. It okay. is Owari Da, as some are memeing on. Because I've been hearing this week after week about how MAPPA is notoriously known for great anime, but at the cost of their workers, right? They don't get paid shit. They just get worked like 25-hour days. And I hear things are at a boiling point right now. But uh, the point of the matter is, is that this isn't just one animator or even two animators. This is a bunch of animators. Multiple people. And industry veterans at that now talking about this. And when you have what I would consider an industry. Throw your card key in the company trash can when you leave work. Based. You know what? Fuck it. Based. You know what? I, I like siding with the working class, the employees. Like, fuck the corporation that just abused you like this. Veteran basically saying, throw your card key in the company trash can when you leave work. And This is a veteran saying that. Imagine that workplace or, like, you're at school or, I, I don't know, you're, you're just at work and, like, the, the senior member, like, a, your manager tells you that shit. You know things are fucking wrong when your manager straight up tells you, throw that shit in the company fucking trash, bro. I to showcase who he is and what this individual has worked on, they have worked on these shows. Devilman Crybaby, Carolyn Tuesday. Big shows. They've worked on Fate. They've Bully worked Cooley. on Kill a Kill. They've worked on all the mob psychos. One Punch Man, Ping Pong. Like, these are huge names. Seasons. They've worked on Ping Pong. SAO. They've worked on Sword Art Online. You know, they've yeah. worked on Space Brothers. They've worked on quite a few shows over the years. They've worked on My Hero Academia. Like, the old... Just saying, it's not some average Joe saying this on Twitter, just, like, complaining about work, saying, oh, I don't want to work. No, these are, like... It's like certified professionals in the veteran in the industry that's saying this shit. Opening episode that was with the All Might versus Nomu. So, like, it's very clear that this person is pretty big deal, okay? Now, definitely not, you know, someone that's under the radar. Definitely has made some iconic scenes yeah. in the last decade. So, when they're saying, throw your card key in the company trash can when you leave work, that's that's wild. That, that's legitimately wild. But obviously, it doesn't just stop there. You oh? have a bunch of animators that... It's unpleasant to praise the company's name, but as far as I can see, the in-house production and filming is an unavoidable situation, and they are contributing tremendously to the work. And I have to thank them for their dedication and hard work. Like, like... It, it sucks because Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is doing... It's, it's pretty amazing so far, to me at least. People are putting out flaws here and there, but it's, like, it's coming at a cost of these people who are, like, slaving away for this, right? I have showcased before in videos, and even newcomers that I haven't talked about now talking about the production and studio MAPPA. It really just goes to show what's going on here. And mm. I'm just going to clear the air. I'm going to say it. Say it. I have been making videos for years. Okay. I have been watching anime for years, even Talk longer your shit. than that. And out of all this time, out of these this decade plus of me... This is the worst ever that Chibi has witnessed. A studio abused their workers like the shittiest workplace conditions we've ever seen in the anime industry. That's what he's about to say, right? Watching anime. I have never seen an animation studio as bad as Studio Mappa. God damn, and ain't that the truth, but... At the same time, they make such iconic fucking animes, right? They have their hands in such big titles. So here's the fucked up thing. Everybody wants to work, you know, like everybody wants to be the person that like worked on Attack on Titan, that worked on Jujutsu Kaisen, that worked on these huge projects with huge names because it boosts the portfolio, right? You want to get the valuable experiences on your resume so that you can use that to leverage better opportunities in the future. And here's where the problem happens. People like MAPPA, sorry, studios like MAPPA can get away with this bullshit because this is an entertainment industry based on passion, not money, passion. These greedy fucks, the corporations, will take all the profits and give little to fucking nothing to the actual people making the work. You know why? Because if the people making the work just leave, they'll just pick up 20 more people that's outside right now waiting for their chance to also get in. They don't give a shit about being paid. They just want the fucking, they'll fucking work for free. This is how shitty the situation is. And no in Japan and Asian work culture in a nutshell, right? It's very, very there, there is literally 
little to no workers cons like a solidarity or a big like labor movement in in like a, a union for example because corporate culture the the way that you respect like, seniors there's something in the asian culture that's ingrained with the corporate culture that makes it so hard to think kind of outside of the norms like i think north america at the very least we have even though it's been weakened unions that you know advocate for workers rights like if these like anime studio like if these anime studios had to go against workers rights you this shit wouldn't happen right to be fair a lot of the stuff that's going on with Studio Map has now been made public. And there's probably atrocious stuff that happens behind the scenes with other studios that we just don't hear nothing about. Probably. But in terms of what we know and current information, I would say Studio Mappa is probably the worst studio I have ever seen for animation. Not God because damn. they make bad anime, but because of what they do to their staff. They treat them... They treat them like shit. But here's the thing. You know what the saddest thing is? The average consumer of anime, they're not even aware of these issues, right? This kind of stuff is for, like, the diehard fans or people that are, like, boomers that are more into, like, the business sense and what's going on in the world. The average 12-year-old watching Jujutsu Kaisen has no idea of how these animes are even made, how the workers are being treated. They have no fucking clue. Do you think, and on top of that, do you think the average consumer gives a fuck? Like, straight up. Would you guys be fine with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 just being dropped right now because the workers decided, you know what, we're going to go on strike. Fuck the company. We're done. We want better conditions. So we're going to halt this, you know, the, the, the production of Jujutsu Kaisen. Do you think the consumers at that point would blame the corporation or would they blame the workers? In my opinion, I think the corporations would spin up a nasty propaganda saying these workers are lazy. They want, they're, they're being so greedy. They're already working on such a huge title like Jujutsu Kaisen. They're demanding better pay. And now they're, it's their fault that Jujutsu Kaisen has stopped, right? You know what people are going to turn on? These dumbasses are going to blame the fucking workers because that's how fucking corporate life works here, bro. So badly, it's insane. When you have, a, a, you know, a culture, you have workers in Japan that mostly yeah. will just, you know, suck it up and deal with it and never speak out about things, speaking out about it. It exactly. really just goes to show how messed up it's so toxic. Stuff is going on in Studio Mappa. How bad it really is. So it just it speaks for itself. And so before you say why are you attacking Studio Mappa, that's why I am never. Get the fucking boot out of your mouth. Like the last thing you should be saying is like get Mappa's dick out of your mouth, right? Like if like a I think a lot of young people like they don't understand how like work culture kind of revolves around corporations and the workers, the the power balance between the two, and they're most likely to side with fucking corporations rather than the working class. It's because they're just kind of like naive and kind of like unexperienced in how the real world works, right? For example, whenever like Nintendo has like a huge drama, like Nintendo canceled another fucking Super Smash Bros. Melee tournament out of some fucking high school. And people are so quick to fucking defend Nintendo. They got the corporate dick down their fucking throats because the corporations, they just have a good grasp of their common consumer, which are just, just fucking kids, man. Never seen a studio do this where so many animators are like this. I have heard a bad production. I know of it. I know which studios had bad production. I know, like, you know, A1's had bad production. A bunch of different studios have. But I've never seen so many staff literally risk their career to this extent talking about it. And I think... That is kind of crazy. Like, the entire team is just, like, shitting on MAPPA. Just outright in public. I, there's no lawsuits involved? Like, there's no dangers involved in this? What this basically shows is, is any animator that has yet to work with Studio MAPPA and their products... And here's the thing, what Shibi's about to say, I'm not sure what he's about to say, but I think it's implying that if we tarnish MAPPA's name like this, if people working on Jujutsu Kaisen is speaking out and saying, fuck this company, look what they're doing to us, do you think potential new workers would want to go work for MAPPA? And here's the fucked up thing, I think they would. Even if MAPPA is known as a black company, just because of the control they have in the anime world, of the crazy titles that they have, I think new people coming into this industry that wants to become competitive, that wants to grind it out and have these big titles on their resume, I think they'll overlook this. And they'll just work for MAPPA, which is the shitty thing. It's probably going to look at this and be like, I'm going to avoid that. I, I, I don't know, man. That's just my take. I think, and it's just straight up from like real world examples. Like people, like constantly whenever there's strikes going on, people will cross the strike line because they're afraid or they just also were trying to make a living. I, I still think like, 
Even if MAPPA's brand was tarnished to that point, as long as they have control over huge anime titles and what they can produce, I think there's going to be an, like a never-ending influx of people that are willing to be slaves. And it's, it's, that's, it's just participating into the shitty culture. I don't want to work with them. They're definitely going to look at it like that. I'd be like, like, that's not worth it. Seeing these people. I agree with Chibi. Like, I hope that's what happens. I'm not just, I'm not saying, I'm not justifying saying like, this is right. I'm just saying realistically in a real life scenario, will people avoid MAPA still? I don't think so. I think people will still fucking go in because they want something on their resume. People literally having mental breakdowns live on social media. That is not worth that. And that's ridiculous. So let's, let's get right into this. Okay. So what's going on as you can see there's a <laughs> just, i'm like 10 minutes into this video and we haven't even read the main part like, <laughs> this is just the intro <laughs> now he's gonna actually read out what's going wrong <laughs> holy shit bunch of leaks or not uh, links not leaks links that take okay. to uh you know different animators different directors yeah. their roles their status what they're talking about what they're saying etc what what aspect they're working on for jjk or what they have done within studio mappa they're all speaking out about this and basically what's happening is is that i'm assuming some bad news came in okay to where like they had to probably get an episode done in a certain amount of time and now basically animators are speaking out about it. like we we found out a few things um here let it's me just ridiculous this deadlines so this right this happened earlier today as you could see bad news is <laughs> Oh god, you know this is just a fucking meme account too, but here, it's a, this is saying, bad news has arrived and I'm suddenly overwhelmed. The most boring ending I can think of, ugh, the festival is over, yes, disbanded, disbanded, oh, what he does. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. See, basically saying bad news has arrived and suddenly overwhelmed, the most boring ending I can think of, ah, oh, the festival is over, yes, disbanded, disbanded. So my assumption is some form of bad news came in the last 24 hours or even or you know earlier whatever the, the regardless did people get fired what's what's going on the bad ending the festival is over seems like they're alluding to like it's not jujutsu kaisen coming to an end unless they're talking about the last episodes that they finished animating i'm not sure how that works is that something's happened and all these animators are now speaking out about it hmm. and it's pretty much worrying because obviously we know this has to do with jjk and to kind of get everybody up to speed two weeks something's ago we had an episode i think episode 15 um basically that came out and it was underbaked it was not finished you had okay. a director doing a live mental breakdown for the whole world to see i even talked what? about it in a video of how he was taking the bullet or the grenade for the entire staff saying he felt bad that this is what he's going to be remembered by which is very sad and mm. he felt like you know he should just quit be done with the art and animation because of it that he was not able to finish the episode it literally Holy destroyed shit. the man's very psyche broke him down bit by bit which was very sad to see and obviously that episode wasn't finished objectively it wasn't clearly i couldn't even fucking tell bro like those episodes like the recent episodes look really nice to me but like i'm not a very good like objective critique at like animation quality but most people probably might not have noticed it some casual anime enjoyer here i don't notice stuff like might that have. the point of the matter is is it wasn't finished it needed more time and then we fast forward a week later which was this previous episode we got of you know jjk it was spectacular Sukuna yeah. versus jogo insane Goated. absolute insane episode everybody looked at it was like oh my goodness even myself was like oh my god i probably forgot about you know the previous week of the animators and the staff breaking down and here's the thing every banger jujutsu kaisen comes out with an episode people just forget about the drama it's like oh shit skuna versus jogo nah i'd win holy shit this is amazing you forget about shit like that. And that's the thing. Every time Nintendo has drama and people are like, cancel Nintendo, fuck Nintendo, they drop a new fucking game, everybody forgets. People just fucking forget. That's the, that's the, that's the regular consumer, right? We are so simple-minded fucking monkeys that we just see a new episode of JJK and we go, oh, new episode hype. And then you forget about the drama. And the reason why that episode was so good was because it was there was more time for it to cook in the oven. It was even said that, you know, the, the episode was given more time. It was already in the works a lot longer than previous episodes, which is why it was so good. Which is why I said in my video for the review that, uh, you know, imagine if every JJK episode was given that amount of time and Great. how good it would look. Great. Or even better if it was given more time. It, it just makes you think. So, anyways... Now that that's said and done, we go to this episode, and there has been a lot of talks. A lot of animators and leakers and stuff have been talking that this upcoming episode is supposedly going to be uh -oh. even better than oh. the previous episode. 
But better means that instead of them working 40 hours, now, sorry, sorry, they're already working like 60 hours. Now they're going to be working up to 100 hours, right? And it's got everybody shocked. They're like, huh? That, that everybody is really, really shocked. And here's the thing. It might be better. But the question but is, cost? how is the episode after at, that? At, at what cost? And I think that what is going on here, what the staff is currently talking about, is probably talking about... The ending. The episode after. And is there some big thing that's happening in Jujutsu Kaisen? Like, in terms of, like, is manga readers? Like, is, is there something significant about, not this week's episode, but the week after? And I'm going to take an educated guess. Just seeing so many people talk about it, production probably just had a flat line. They, like, it's completely... Or I guess what they're talking about is currently the schedule for that episode after. Completely dead. Like, I'm assuming at this point, it's like, it is so rushed at this receivable moment yeah that either what's going to happen is is the animators are going to finish it I, I, I have an idea what's going to happen guys you know what's going to happen guys meliota season four meme you know what's going to happen guys yes that's right we're going to get this we're going to get this for Jujutsu Kaisen in a, in a couple episodes. This is what's going to happen, guys. Uh-oh. Get ready. Get ready. Out, and it's going to make production even worse on them in the future because MAP is going to be like, oh, you can do this in that amount of time, or they're going to break, and it's just not going to be able to air. One or the other. It, something's going to happen. Something's going to break, and we are at that breaking point where we are seeing Studio MAPPA crumble. The staff is crumbling. I talked about this over a year ago. Now, it would only be a matter of time until something finally snaps. It was just... And that's the thing. We're waiting for a boiling point. People have been shitting on Studio Mappa. But doesn't it just seem like they're still just coming out with hit titles one after the other and they're just completely dominant in the anime industry? I am not an insider. I haven't looked at analytical stats. I'm, this is just purely on speculation from just, you know, the trends and the stuff I see online. I do see that whenever P MAPPA is mentioned, people fucking, they have a negative sentiment towards MAPPA. I think their brand is definitely tarnished. But is it impacting their bottom line? Is it ever going to impact them to the point where the studio will crumble because no one wants to work for them? That would be the ideal scenario so that people can actually get paid, you know, fair wages with like human working conditions. But I feel like situations like this, they're just going to fucking keep dominating. And people are just continuing to go in willing to be slaves because MAPPA's name is still valuable on their resume. A matter of time. And it seems like we are finally seeing the exodus or the beginning of the end. Okay, they're leaving, walking off? Studio MAPPA. Do I think that this is going to be the end? Jujutsu Kaisen season? No. I think they're going to keep making products, production, etc. But I feel like what this whole ordeal is going to showcase to the whole world, especially in Japan, is that if you go to work for Studio Mappa, you're pretty much working for a company that's going to abuse you, it's destroy a black you, company. rip you apart, spit you back out, and make yeah. you wonder why you even wanted to be an animator in the first place. And it's going to cause a lot of people not even want to work with them. And I think that as time goes on, they're not going to be able to get the staff they want. And that's the valuable thing, right? This is the ideal scenario. As time goes on, people start to be aware and can actually think for themselves and be like, you know what? Instead of participating into this fucking same system and culture that just throws us out like spit, why don't we actually just like boycott against MAPPA, right? Why doesn't that work? And here's another thing, right? I don't know how MAPPA gets these titles, right? I, I don't know the contracts or like the process of which MAPPA is able to get their hands on huge titles like Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen. Will stuff like this happening on Twitter, will their employees talking shit about them actually impact them as a company, as a brand, to the point where they can't get their hands on new huge titles? I don't know exactly how that works. Because they're just, they're, they're literally cycling through so many animators that just people don't want to work with them. They're, they're literally churning them out, putting them on a... But there's an endless fucking like, supply, right? From what I'm aware of is there's so many people that's just begging, just waiting outside, just waiting in the rain for the door to open so they can come in and start working for fucking a cent a day, right? Just a grinder, grinding them up and going to the next person, throwing the animator into the grinder again and just continuously spinning that wheel, so to speak. I can kind of that's imagine what's it. happening. Like, this is wild. This is legitimately wild stuff. When you have all these animators saying, like, I'll, le uh, I'll leave you with the word scum, literally saying Damn. that the, the production and the studio is scum. Like, that's crazy. Because, once again, this is a culture where most Japanese people will not Say something speak bad. up. They, yeah. they, they'll just, they'll finish. That's a big point to be made, right? I think uh, maybe it's like a stereotypical thing to assume, but I think for the most part, I think Japanese people are very... Um, reserved and they're very polite and they won't go out of their way to you know confront people like this but for them especially in a corporate work culture for them to come out and just straight up say this company is scum 
Something must have fucking gone down, bro. I want to fucking hear the drama. Finish the work. They're diligent with their work. They are very just like, we'll finish the job. But when you have this going on, it really just, it says everything. And it's crazy to me how people for years have been defending this studio and all that and thinking like, you're being too harsh when you have stuff like this. It's nice. It, it is really, like, it, it's... It's nice to see people waking up. It is very nice to see people realizing what's actually happening. You even yeah. have people that have always been, like, MAPPA fanboys now even speaking out about this. I saw it already. So, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I think the best words to really summarize this is this. It's over. It's over. It's Jover, guys. Great video by Chibi. But again, like, this is going to be a long term. Go like the video, guys. Sub to his channel if you haven't. Always giving us informative videos like this. But again... This is going to take a long time process. And until something changes in the culture where people will actively avoid MAPPA because of their bad reputation, nothing will change. Hopefully, the ideal scenario is, right, the idealistic scenario is, like, let's say MAPPA continues to do this. Animators are deciding, you know what, fuck them. We're just going to go somewhere else now. They get lesser and lesser talent. Their production quality, you know, suffers. And they won't be able to get their hands on huge titles. And one day, they just dissolve and that's it. But at the end of the day, this is... Doing that, like getting rid of MAPPA is not going to solve the root cause. MAPPA is a symptom, right? There is a deeper root cause involved. And at the end of the day, if you don't have a strong labor movement, if you don't have worker solidarity, if you don't have, you know, these animators uniting and, like, you know, forming unions to, you know, advocate for better working conditions, nothing will change. But we'll see about that. We'll see about that.